Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna talk about this touch sensitive resin table. So basically what I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how to make the table, what you need for that table and which sensors do you need and where you can buy them. So I really hope you're gonna enjoy this video so don't forget hit the like button and subscribe for me. I know I've been away for a long long time but I'm finally back and it's time to finish off a couple of the tables. I've been making a lot of these tables, but this is one of the best tables, and I'm gonna explain you bit by bit. I will do my best. My language is not the best, but I will really do my best. So, enjoy the video. As you can see, this table is slightly different. Here is many colors, but actually, there is only one color LED. It looks really cool. And I really like this table. So why I have different colors and when I have why I have just white LED? That's because when I was putting epoxy resin, I was mixing a couple colors together. So at the end, it's gonna give you like a rainbow color, which I really like. And as you can see here on the bottom, just only white LEDs. Yeah. So let's have a look closer, guys, and then I'm gonna show you. What you need to make this one so the bits what you need basically the most two most important things what you need first one is a jig with this jig you can do hexagon shape wood pieces you know which is really most important of course you can do any other design you know but if you do hexagon it might look better you know and because as you know there is a lot of different sensors and each sensor is different there is rectangular round round circle you know and the length of the led also depends on the sensor so i made my hexagons 800 by 800 mil so they are 800 by 800 same as this one in the middle yeah so my LED goes all the way around. I'm gonna flip the table over so I can I will be able to show you. So yeah, the first one is the jig to cut the hexagon shape. If you don't know how to make a jig, I can make video where I can explain how you can make hexagon jig, yeah. And this one is like kinda adjustable, you can make bigger and smaller hexagons because I'm also making coasters. Yeah? That's the first one. Second one, you will need that one because this one is not done by cnc it's done by hand rotor so this one is like a template you put on top of the hexagon and you're just routing out the edges for the led so that's the two things what you really need and of course sensors epoxy resin and the rest of the rest of the stuff so let's flip over the table and have a look closer on the which sensors i'm using and how they are messy on the bottom let's say yeah as you can see i flip over the table and sensors already light up you know so as you can see i have a round sensor and led goes around here that's why i told you you need this jig yeah it's not a perfect jig you don't have to be perfect because you know nobody gonna see that so you do like that and then you can use double-sided tape or whatever you can use screws but you know Better if you use double-sided tape or something else. So you just route around on the edge here. I was using 100 mil. I think it was 100 mil router bit here. Yeah. So I don't know really how to explain you. So there is enough space for everything. And as you can see, LED goes all the way around with the hot glue. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure how many sensors I have here. But as you can see, here is the module, like power supply, which is running from the type C. You can also use this one. You just turn off and when you turn on, everything lights on, like on the first stage. And then when you go over with your hand, it's going to sense your hand and it's going to light on and goes off. And as you can see from here, one cable goes here, then it goes out to the next sensor. But you have to be careful. You cannot, let's say, flip this one another way around. Yeah there is a numbers i'm not sure my camera don't focus properly and there is p2 p1 yeah 
So basically this one goes to P2 from P1 to P2 from P1 to P2 and just follow more 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 yeah. because if you're gonna do another way around it's not gonna work. So yep. So to make this table first what you do you prepare hexagon shapes as many as you want it's dependent on the size of the table it could be square it could, it could be round well it's, the, it's up to you yeah so first prepare all of them then second one you have to make a mold again which whichever you want round square it doesn't matter when you have made mold you can start placing them hexagons inside in the mold but i would suggest you glue with the super glue to the mold and make sure you have all gaps same like spaces i have i don't know 15 mil let's say 12 mil yeah all these gaps between hexagons i have around 12 mil so place all of them hexagons in that mold i was using super glue on the bottom and then on each of this what i did I put small piece of plywood on each of them and then I put piece of board basically something on the top so they don't flow out when you're gonna put in epoxy resin as you as like I said before this one is with many colors and I've been pouring five colors of epoxy resin same time so that's why this one looks really nice yeah once you have your epoxy resin in I would say first put just a little bit let's say three mil yeah, because if you're doing that first time, it's better just to put three mil, so you are sure it's gonna get hard and it's not gonna float up. You know, if you're gonna put everything in, it might go up. Yeah, everything depends on the resin what you're using. So I would say put just a little bit in, wait till it's hard, then you can put the rest of the bits in. Yeah. Then you need a router sled. If you don't have router sled, you could use a drum sander or something else. Yeah? I was using my own handmade router sled. If you don't know how to make router sled, let me know. I'm going to make a video. Yeah? So with the router sled, we're just flattering down. Yeah? Make it nice and smooth. Yeah? Then sanding off. After that one, you need this jig. The middle ones, I don't have the blade at the moment. I don't know where it is. But, you know, like a light candles where you make them holes so yeah the middle ones is made by that one but you can also do by the hand router but i think with that one it was much much faster you know they are not perfect some of them are a little bit out and they are not in the middle but it really doesn't matter because nobody can see that so then you got this one and then just go one by one just but be careful i didn't went all the way through let's say my tabletop thickness is 20 mil yeah and this one is like half let's say eight nine mil because when i did that i just want to make sure when my leds are not visible as you can see i still have a lot of cables yeah so i would say if you have thicker wood like 25 mil or even 30 mil use that wood i didn't have so thick wood so i've been using 22 mil Board. and now after fluttering yeah i got like 19 20 mil yeah? so if you have thicker wood go with the thicker wood yeah? when you have done everything yeah then just place your sensors in the place with the heat glue so they don't move yeah? put all the cables and test it you know i would when you do this resin yeah you could use powder but i would say better if you use liquid because it's more like transparent you know you can see more through like on this one here so and i really gonna try to show you much much closer how it looks but it's a really awesome table and then you can buy the adapter but this one i'm gonna show, explain you and show you on next video when i'm gonna be finishing off the bottom of this table which i hope is gonna be soon yeah so if you have any questions guys just comment below and i will do my best to explain I really hope you understand what I mean, yeah? But it's really simple to make the tables. And the sensors, sorry, I forget about the sensors, yeah? There is many types of the sensors. The best ones and the cheapest ones is on Alex, AliExpress. I bought mine from Amazon. I paid 30 pounds for the 10 sensors, yeah? But you can get like uh, 
10 sensors for 15 pounds or even less yeah basically much much cheaper and if you buy the sensors with the copper wire yeah they are okay but not really good because for these ones you don't need like extra you know range extender antenna or anything like that what i have used to do before my first table yeah so these ones sensing your hand are already from like i don't know 20 mil my hand is not yet touching the table and see it goes on so i would say the round ones is the best ones yeah so yep if you have questions guys I really hope I explain everything about bits and bobs. It's really simple to make. Just you need a dad jig, you need dad jig, you know, then epoxy pouring stuff like that. And be careful with the epoxy. Is up which depend which epoxy you're using up to 20 mil, up to 50 mil, you know. And don't overheat epoxy resin, you know. Just go slowly, step by step. So I'm gonna make one more one video, one video soon where I'm gonna make table step by step, so you can see how I'm doing that. So if you have more questions about the sensor stuff like that, just comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next video guys.